Hey friends, I want to show you how to put together a cement uh, pole holder so that whenever you put your trusses up or any kind of backgrounds, you've got something to actually hold it up. The problem is we've made these so many times with PVC pipe and cans like this that when it goes to store, <laughs> it doesn't fit anywhere. You don't have anywhere to go with it. So first of all, let me just say, you don't have to do it like that. Um, I'll probably make one in a can, but I'm thinking about making it in these plastic shoe boxes. We had a bunch left over in the resource room and we want to just make it with the stick that's sticking up part of the way. I'm thinking maybe a couple inches over the top of the cement. And what if I put it about three of them in here or on the edge? So that way I could put my pole wherever I want just by using a coupling. It just fits right over it and then this fits in there. So I can hook my pole to it and I can store these so much easier. So that's the coupling. Let me uh, go ahead and get started. So I've got some cement right here. I just bought the ready mix uh, stuff that you just put it together. So I'm gonna dip it out. Honestly, one bag ought to be plenty. Good. Okay. Here's some water. <laughs> Feels like a cooking show with cement. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of that in there. I'm just gonna use this stick to move it around. If it gets too wet, don't worry about it. This ready mix is pretty forgiving. It'll just It'll just evaporate and harden up a bit. You know, sometimes when we set posts at home and stuff, we dig the hole and just pour a bag of this into the hole with the fence post, get the water hose, kind of put some on top and just leave it because it pulls water from the earth and, <laughs> and then it goes down as well. So we're gonna have time. You know, you don't want to do this the day before BBS. You want to do it ahead so that way it is time to harden up. Pretty much, that's all we have to do. So think about it, the trusses or any of the backdrops are eight feet tall. Now the pipe comes, it's 10 feet. So I had to go ahead and uh, whack off two feet of it. And that's what I'm using right here to stir this up. All right, that's probably enough. So you can see, that's basically all it is. Okay, so I went ahead and marked on here so that I could set these posts in place, but I've got to mark it uh, about seven inches. I was doing, there's about five inches depth to this, so I was doing just two inches over and that'll be just right for the coupling to sit on it. That way I could store this pretty easily. I cut it with a PVC pipe cutter. You get these right there, they're like hanging right next to the pipe. The pipe is so cheap uh, at Lowe's is where I got it. So start letting it kind of come down. Okay, there's my mark. That's right at five, so. I want to go just above that, about here. Okay, cut it. There. So that's right there. I think I want it as close to the end as I can get it because if the trusses are on a pole right on the end, I, I don't want it to have to bow over something. But let's say I'm gonna to want to put this right in the middle. So I'm gonna set one right in the middle. All right, shut this down. So now every year, if I have this, I'll have options. And that's always a good thing. And here's the other one, right on the end. So. Set those up nice and straight. 
Now, after they get hard, if I want to come back and trim these or anything, I could even trim them and make them all the same, which would be smart. Really easy to do. So that's it. There really isn't much to it. So the couplings will go on, the pole will go in it, and from measurement from the floor to the top of the pole, it needs to be eight feet. Just cut it off.